focus on a story that's got a lot of people talking, especially on social media tonight. A toxic swarm of insects bugging a lot of people on Pine Island and Lake County. It's called the Eastern Lubber. It's a huge, unattractive grasshopper in a lot of people's opinion, and it's also a big headache for a lot of people. They're watching these things destroy their plants, eating them up. Four in the corner is Michael Gadigan, back from spending the day on the island, and he's showing you some ways people are trying to deal with these things. Michael? Patrick, this species of grasshopper, like you mentioned, is tough to deal with. Not even birds want to mess with them because of their poison. However, there is a way you can tackle them, and believe me, you might have to because they can be almost four inches long. Take a good long look at the eastern luber, if you can stomach the sight of them. They're really a big nuisance. These tough grasshoppers are back in southwest Florida. Not only is there going to be a whole bunch of them, they get pretty big, about three to four inches long. They get huge, very, very big. One of the biggest grasshoppers you'll find in the United States. The biggest grasshopper I ever seen. I, I tell you what, if, if, if you could tie a little piece of thread on the back leg and and you could actually have contests. They would take and see which one could jump the farthest on one leap. But it's been the insects who have come out as the winners, beating the people of Pine Island. They've been bugged by these giant grasshoppers for years. If you don't catch them when they're small, you're in trouble. They grow into these humongous big grasshoppers who turn yellow and nothing will kill them. I mean, they are just invincible. And he's not exaggerating. Even the pest control professionals at Fort Myers Pest Control say eastern lubers are tough. Lizards, birds, they don't like them because they have a, a, a toxic taste to them. People are buzzing into Pine Island Feed and Garden Center for help. I immediately called the people and ordered the uh, no low grasshopper bait. The organic bait helps cut back their numbers, but the war at the luber is far from over. Baits do work, but here's the problem with the baits. If there's something that's more important to them to eat as vegetation, they're going to prov provide to eat that. Now, it is the season for them. You'll be seeing a lot more of them from April until September. Their numbers especially spike up during July and August. Now, the reason they got an early start this year is because of the warmer weather we had in February. Michael Cadigan, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Michael. If the insects don't catch you, maybe this will at the beach.